everybody, welcome back to Ancient Warfare 2 Mod Spotlight Part 4 with me, Sid. And we're here in Camp Forward, which is in a different world. Um, uh, it's night time. We're going to quickly change that because I've got some overly zealous guards on the front gate. Um, who will basically cause all sorts of trouble for us if we uh, let them they they are there they are down there anyway um the vehicle module in ancient warfare didn't exist in 1.7 it's 1.12 of course now and uh, it exists fine so let's start off with the basics torsion units these are all the parts you're going to need to use these and those in the other thing to you to use to make vehicles um, so torsion units torsion units again most of this is really cheap iron ingot sticks and um, string will give you torsion units you've got rough wood rough wood is wood and leather gives you eight very cheap there is a treated wood which is slightly more expensive and there is a iron shod wood which is slightly more expensive again and there is a iron core wood which is even more expensive again these basically craft up multiple tiers of vehicle um, now in terms of other items you're going to have in your vehicle there is an equipment bay which is again very cheap iron and stuff there is a powder case um, which is cheap there is a counterweight unit again relatively cheap and there is a turret unit which is probably one of the more expensive things it has a piston in it oh and some stuff and there is also a siege engineer who uses a torsion unit to craft that particular npc let's go over to the other um, tent where we've got more parts and there is a mobility unit um, which is all right it's a wheel <laughs> pistons and stuff we've got on um, uh, let me get this in we've got f rough iron get myself in the right order eight iron in uh, ingots add some coal to make fine iron add some more coal and more iron to make tempered iron um, minor alloy with some golden stuff and major alloy with more golden stuff so lots of parts we're going to see those a lot when we get into crafting now, in addition to all of that, there are a whole load of vehicle upgrades. So we've got a pitch extension, um, iron, pistons, and wood gives you a pitch extension. It extends the turret rotation range. There is a spring-fed reloader, which basically, again, relatively cheap, but gives you a 10% reload time reduction. Um, there is a glitch there. You can see where it says next to format error. That's obviously something, a glitching, a bug in the code but doesn't really have any effect on the actual game uh, power upgrade increases the missile speed by two meters per second a basic trajectory calculator increases your accuracy by three percent uh, iron bearings increase the max speed of the item of the item if it's got wheels by uh, 0.25 meters per second there's also stone armor units there are iron armor units and obsidian iron uh, armor units there is a pitch wedge which increases the aim pitch by three degrees there is a turret wedge which decreases the pitch by three degrees and you'll see what they do later on but let's move on because we've got a lot of things to cover and the first thing we need to cover is munitions Clay casing, clay and wool gives you eight clay casings. You can make a flame charge with fire and wool. You can make an explosive charge with gunpowder, coal and string. Uh, a rocket charge with gunpowder, paper and string. There is a cluster charge, which is wool and iron. Nape palm charge, which is green wool, gunpowder and for some reason cactus. I'm not entirely sure of the logic there. And iron casing, which is iron and wool. So these are all used to make the ammunition. And if we come down here to our first crafting area, we've got two lots of um, items. We have got the catapults, stand fixed turret, mobile fixed mobile turret. 
and these all use a variety of things so rough wood torsion units equipment bay if you add a turret rotation unit to that you'll get one that's got that if you put a mobility unit and believe it or not mobility and turret unit will give you that one comes in three different flavor uh, five different flavors the basic material level one material level two level three and level four um, and if you look to look at the recipe on that you can just see they use more of those crafting components similarly we have the trebuchet stand fixed turret wheeled and the giant trebuchet i'm not going to put a giant treb uh, i'm going to take a giant trebuchet with me and we'll put it down when we get to the end if i remember in fact i'm going to stick it there in that hand to remind me because it is massive um same kind of thing but we're using counterweight units and leather in this one so most of the ingredients make sense um you know rotation unit and mobility units now the reason these two are in the shed together is because they fire the same ammunition stone shot flame shots explosive shot napalm shot and cluster shot Stone shot uses clay casing, gives you 10 stone shots. 10, 10 kilo uh, stone shots. But you also got 15 kilo, 30 kilo and 45 kilo shots. And needless to say, they do more damage. Um, but the heavier they are, they list less distance they fly. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, flame shot, similar kind of thing. But we're going to stick a flame charge in there and it comes in different graders again. The explosive shot comes in three uh, th uh four explosive shots and four high explosive shots now the difference between that and that is basically you put more gunpowder in it napalm shot use a napalm charge um and the cluster munitions again spawn cluster things and it tells you pretty much the instructions are there telling you what they do but let's go and have a look at one of these things i mean it's enough playing with them but I've, uh, let's go and up here so let's start off with this catapult now the cat shift and right click on a catapult once you've placed it will open up its thing so in this case i've filled it with ammunition i have put some uh, two power upgrades to increase the missile speed and accuracy and i've dropped the pitch so i can shoot a more shallow angle and more downwards i've armored it didn't really need to be armored but i did it anyway and you basically you right click to jump in it and you can position yourself and you can see that line i'm basically trying to aim it to wherever it has got the shots i can change that with a g key but these are all configurable so if i take a 10 kilo stone shot and aim for that poppy hit the space bar almost let's get it we'll show that poppy probably hasn't reloaded you have to give it a second to reload but you can see it's making these holes so the shots do have a impact now if i take a cluster shot boom i can take an explosive shot um let's fire over there and we've got a high explosive shot i'm not sure what the uh, how much of a difference that will make let's go and chuck one down there big boom uh flame shot believe it or not will set things on fire on the napalm shot now i'm going to try and hit that hole there because it spawns a lava source block <laughs> um so that is the the catapult shift to get out as it would with any other device let me just check uh, we'll do a quick time set because i don't want those guys on the gate to annoy any endermen they keep annoying endermen it's, it's annoying the trebuchet is essentially the same um But when you fire it, it's it's got a much bigger arc, um, so it could shoot closer and further. And it's um, if you imagine the trajectory is much higher. And again, you can go in with a high explosive shot and drop it down, maybe there. Uh, 
Um, yeah, that is your catapults. Um, this thing had got um, two per, uh, speed upgrades and a, uh, a accuracy upgrade. And again, some armor. I didn't need armor, but I put it in for the sake of it. But the models are awesome. The one thing I wish you could do is get rid of the labels. Um, I can't see that that is an option anywhere. Let's move over here. And in here, we have ballistas. So we've got a stat fixed ballista, turret ballista, mobile ballista with a fixed thing, and a mobile turret ballista. Ballista being a giant crossbow, obviously, for those who are not ballista savvy um again usual kind of thing rough ward string and things to make the basic ones and then you've got the, the multiple materials to go up in level um add a road turret unit for that add some wheels for that and add both for that one it's really basic um in terms of ammunition the blister bolt basically is iron it's basically a big arrow so it's iron sticks and feathers and you get eight. Uh, flaming one adds some flame chargers. Explosive one adds some um, explosive chargers. And iron blister bolts obviously do more damage. Just do iron and feathers. And that's it. I mean, it's it's a blister. You get up there, and if we again, if we look at this, I've I've done the wedge to bring it down the angle down for us, uh, we've armoured it, we've got a whole load of stuff, you jump in, you find where you want to shoot, um, you can see these have got a higher, a longer range, so, and you fire, and if we were to jump out here, you get a big blister bolt in the ground sneak peek of what we got what, what we got lined up but if we go and change out to explosive and you can see the animation you can see this is actually a lot easier to know when it's ready to refire um, flame bolt and the iron bolt pretty much it's big concrete big um big old turret right let's move on because over here you'll see this is the ballista mobile turret i just put one out so you can see it you can get in there and you can things and you can drive it with your out with your new wasd keys uh, I haven't given it any uh, ammo. Over here is a chess cart. Now the chess cart I didn't put into a thing because it's a relatively simple thing. It's basically chests, woods and equipment bay gives you a chess cart. There are multiple tiers again. And if you right click on that, you have got multiple storages of chess. So if I go there, put a carrot in, add a carrot. Add a carrot, that's three. That's four chests worth of storage. That's five, actually it's more than a chest, isn't it? Because that's, no, it is a chest. Sorry, sand a chest, that's five, that's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. That's 10. That's 11. That's 12, 13, how many has it got in it? 14, I mean the, oh, it's moving them down by line, oh, interesting. I thought it was doing entire things, but there's multiple chests worth of storage there basically, so we can, We can basically put two in and go one, two, we'll get them work this out. So I'm not sure how many chests of storage it has. It's 24 rows. So, so it's a good old storage. I mean, you can see it's got actually got four little chests in it. Um, now, one thing you can't do is hook these up to horses and carts, but you can take it for, a, you can basically you know um, pull it and push it yourself 
and of course you can put speed upgrades in it so you can make it a faster maneuver it does pop off seeds <laughs> that's one thing to be aware of anyway let's move on so Hawacha, um and i hope i pronounced that right there there are the multiple tiers of this one again but basically this is the basic one the level one um power case you've then got the rockets so standard rocket uses rockets and stuff um x fire rocket uses all of that lot uh explosive rockets uses that lot and uh air burst with a cluster charge uses that lot it's um a terrifying weapon what are you oh we'll come back to you we'll come we'll come back to you in a moment first things first let's come up here here's a tier 5 for Wacha. it is loaded it's got lots of missile speed upgrades and what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a rocket course it didn't really help very much uh, but you can't really get the pitch down very easy on this one G we got the air burst Over the explosives, oops. There I even and so on and so forth. Um, okay, let's run down here now. This particular item in here is the battering ram uses a whole load of materials multiple tiers of it this is a special melee unit it has one function and one function only its function is to get through these or doors um so basically you get in you can see a highlight of the area the destructive area and you basically you drive forward up to a wall of a castle or gate of a castle get yourself in range and you pop it and then you move a bit further and you try again and see whether you and yeah getting through the castle walls pretty easily and obviously you can come back over and bang now it's really not going to be an effective mining tool. It's just an object of interest, I think, to be fair. Um, I can't put anything in there. There's no ammo to put in there. So we move on um, around here to... I was going to... Have a look. I'm sure I've got a chest. There we go, a crate. That'll do. Let me just get rid of that lot. Um, around here, we get to the, the last actual weapon of this um, vehicles mod which is the cannon there's a cannon stand a cannon turret and cannon mobile but on wheels um, cannon I can't believe I've missed another recipe again I'll be back in a second all right so the recipes are pretty straightforward it's rough iron um, powder case and equipment bays and obviously they go up to the point where you get the major alloy the more expensive ones at the end the same thing but with a turret unit and the same thing but with a mobility unit um, in the case of the iron shot it is basically iron casing all the way up to six iron casing to make eight so of the heavier ones the canister shot uh, which spawns off five sub munitions on impact um, is that one and the grape shot which spawns five sub munitions on firing is that one and as with the oh and in fact let me set the time set day because i know for a fact these guys look at them the tracking 
However, a few targets is not a bad thing. So we've got our cannon here. We've got wedges, accuracy and stuff. Uh, let's go with... See, told you, they annoy Endermen. So, iron shot, canister shot. see anybody else who well there's one over there grape shop there the cannon is actually a really nice one if you were going to be building a um, ship pirate ship or anything they're awesome the the last thing in the vehicles I wanted to cover is this which is there's a boat ballista, a boat catapult, and a boat transport. Um, they're pretty much the same recipes, but yeah, you get the cactus again for whatever reason. Um, I didn't know that's just things. Uh, the ballista ha is is on a. I think the ballista is turreted. The catapult isn't. The transport. The transport. I'm very interested in because I think if you were going out exploring in the world with ancient warfare. This, as instead of a boat boat, would be very, very interesting indeed. Um, I'm not going to go and boat them around because we are in a super flat world, but I did float some up there so you can actually see what you've got. They're substantial models. Um, and that is the vehicle module. So finally we come on to the structures module, or at least the bit we're going to cover. There are a whole load of NPC factions in the world. Uh, and I've got a selection, not all of them, here. So we've got the Merchant's Guild. Um, you have got Pirates. Arr. We have got the Coven, uh, including... You can't quite see it. I'll see whether... Come on. That one down there, it looks like some kind of horrendous Garfield hybrid. But you've got the Scarecrow, Witch, uh, Satire Archer... Um, Puppet Golem, I think that one is. The Sarkonid, which are, I think, desert-dwelling um, tribe. Monsters, there's a whole host of monsters. We've got a selection of them in here, including the Kobold, Owlbear. There's a Frankenstein's monster back there. I think there's a Vampire at the back, and a Vampire Blood Slave. Uh, Zoltec, which are basically your Inca-style um, warriors, some... Um, Central American elves. Now, what I love is the fact is, look, they made the elves skinny. They've, obviously, they've got this thing. They've got massive. These are basically the same models, just grown bigger and smaller. So it's quite clever what they've done. Brigands, Empire. We're going to see a lot of these guys uh, and dwarfs, which uh, things. But there's a whole load more, far more than uh, we can go in now we are going to go out into the world and i'm going to show you some of the um, npcs and to show you the npcs i am going to have to go into out of creative mode and into standard mode so first things first get dead Sharpness 10, and it still didn't actually... I, I Basically, I hacked these, by the way, so this armour, in theory, is uber good. Um, so, throughout the world, you're going to find structures spawning. You'll find structures as big and bigger than this one. Um, this is a particularly grand old structure. It's got lots of nice stuff going on in it. You've got the normal villagers, and you'll find structures as small as this one. Oh, I was going to show you the giant. Let me just show you the... Uh, I've just looked down, and I could see this thing on my bar. Let me just show you uh, this before we go looking for a few more structures. That, that is the giant trebuchet. <laughs> it is massive. 
Um, he's supposed to be able to throw huge ammunition, and I don't know exactly what he classes as huge ammunition, because that one can throw everything you can make, including the 45 kilo. So, but that's the giant trebuchet. Right, these structures. So, they spawn in the world, um, and I say they range from big to small, and you will get things like this. Now, this is a small structure, but you'll notice these shadows and these labels. These are the arc, uh, ancient warfare spawners for these actual individuals. Um, and they tend to knock lots of plants off. They won't spawn when I'm in creative mode. So, if I change my game mode to survival, um, I must I must have tested something before I changed. We'll go in like that. That should do us, and we'll get. So, as you come in on these, you can often see where there are going to be. Um, there we go. Oh, I haven't got any arrows, damn it. Um, you can't hurt me. I have got armor. Oh, he's actually are hurting me a wee bit. So these, ow. They've got a fair old range on them, for starters. Once you got them off the horses, they're a little bit softer. Ow, just die, will you? <laughs> oh, man. Die. And die. Come on. Die. 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 Thank you. And when you kill them, they drop their shields and their things. Let me just go and get some arrows. Well, actually, I just need... Did I? I just need a, an arrow. Game mode C. Let me get an arrow then. <laughs> Thank you. Think of everything and then you forget the basics. So, my ten personal thing is I tend to approach these things slowly and just get them in and... You see what I mean? These guys are actually a pretty good shot. Uh, there's another one there because it's a shadow. I can see it and I think the shadow is either side. So... Hello. Ooh. A little bit more serious, aren't you? Hello, Spearman. Now, these guys have got a range on them, so they're annoying. And, of course, when you get in there, you'll get to the loot, which, in this case, was pretty depressing. Um, they drop all sorts of crap, and they drop a lot of these coins. So, in theory, I'm just going to change myself back to creative so we can move. In theory, you will encounter traders in the world. I'll be honest, I never have. Um, so don't be disappointed if you don't but you can see this all sorts of structures these are going to be mainly plain structures and they're going to be mainly empire and uh, the witchy witchy fired one so you know you've got even the peasants are a pain <laughs> um, they do spawn in the world with ballistas and cannons and things so you know don't be surprised if you come across a structure that can um hurl cannonballs at you and it is just a really really nice spawning mod now i if as i recall i think you can reduce the spawning frequency because you can end up with quite a dense population of these small structures the bigger ones are obviously rarer and uh yeah it's it's still a very very nice mod the structures have been updated as well since the last um, version so that a lot of the structures are new um, and I've got you know more story if you like to them um, so you'll end up with a little thing like that you'll end up with this this teepee which I, I actually don't remember ever see see uh, this is definitely this is a uh, Some nice. There are some items you will find only in the in the world, and some of these are craftable. So, um, if I can find, how do you get into your? Oh, you're going through this way. So, for example, this has a recipe. Um, 
Right, this is going to be... You can create a mode break the spawners as well, but you can get into the TP, you can have a look in the chest, do do whatever you want around here. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice mod. It's got a lot of nice features to it. This lot is craftable. These are craftable. You will find some things that are not craftable. Um, and obviously the only way to get those is to raid structures. Um, structures include ruins, which will give you brigands, for example. Uh, some of this lot does not look natural. There. Uh, Empire peasants. So you will find they sometimes join into villages. That is definitely not a... Oh, this is a barrow mound, isn't it? I'm fairly certain... Uh, in here with a night vision potion um, we'll be able to oh there was a sneaky way in there thanks so they will spawn zombies as well um, and they'll actually use vanilla spawners which can obviously be hidden in there as well yeah it's all all good stuff with chests so all nice um, I don't really know what else to say these these structures are are fun structures you can have a lot of fun raiding them um, they can be a little bit predictable in their um, in the coping mechanisms of how to actually take them out because because of the aforesaid artificial stupidity so you will find ruins some of these ruins will actually have stairways down i don't know whether this is one um there are orcs there are, you know you name it it's been added uh, well maybe not quite that much but certainly uh, there's a very good chance of it but that's Ancient Warfare 2, um, updated for 1.12. Uh, I'll put all the details in the description as per usual. I will put my, uh, I'll re-put my um, research tree PDF in there. Please bear in mind it is missing two items. And, uh, you know, if you have enjoyed this, you know, let me know. Leave a like, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's more life in the old mod yet. I think it's, uh, it's nice to say, but um, until next time, thank you very much for watching guys, and I will see you soon, and bye for now.